right. Hey, uh, welcome back to Riffin' with Griffin. And as you can see, uh, I am, I'm trying to improve the situation. You know, I got a different table now. You know, I got the pictures are lined up straight. Got some fan art. That's from Willie Purdue from uh, Pittsburgh. And, uh, you know, like I say, guys, we're just going to continue to grow. And I'd like to feel like this is some growth. But I'm very excited for my guest I have today, uh, my good friend uh, we're from Worst Fire Team, uh, my other podcast that nobody knows about. <laughs> 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 but more uh, importantly, more importantly, uh, uh, the great UFC fighter himself, uh, Taekwondo champion, right? Is that oh, yeah. Taekwondo, Taekwondo boxing. Uh, the, all of it. The <laughs> Just pretty much the man, you know? <laughs> the great uh, Eric Koch, everybody. <sighs> so I don't know if you watched the podcast or not, um, you know. Mm -hmm. Anyway. No. <laughs> I know you don't. Nobody watches. <laughs> None of my guests watch the podcast, but you know, I uh, I do theme songs. You know, I'm on the I'm on the theme song hunt constantly, and um, so this this is one of them. What I'm gonna do now is like I'm gonna pick uh, this one won the poll, so I'm gonna put this uh, this is gonna be the theme song from here on out until somebody sends one that can beat it. You know, but it's also one of my favorites anyway. And this is from Detective Design, which is Eli Winderman, uh, Rob Kimmel, um, you know, uh, Octave Octopod and Octave Cat. That's the name of their band. How many? How many? How many fans do you get that make you songs? This is ridiculous. I have like twenty really? of them, man. That's there, crazy. There's so many. You That's know? crazy. That's cool though. Yeah, I got I got so many. So and this is the one that like this. So this is gonna be. So I'm not even gonna after this. I'm not even gonna start the podcast like this anymore. I'm, I'm just gonna do the, the the theme song and then lead into the guest. But uh, but first, my guest, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Eric Koch, <sighs> UFC fighter extraordinaire. Here we go. Ah, wow. So welcome to Riffin' with Griffin, everybody. Riffin' with Griffin, yeah. And we stank up in here. <laughs> Riffin' with Griffin. Riffin' with Griffin, yeah. So welcome to Riffin' with Griffin once again. Here at Riffin' Studios, and uh, I'd like to welcome my guest, Mr. Eric Koch once again. <laughs> All right, we did it. That's awesome. Isn't that's this awesome. great? Yeah, that's a great song. It's catchy. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 I mean, they really did. They really went to work with me on this, man. So anyways, um, as much as, um, you know, we know each other, I don't know, like, where you started. Like, what's what's to start, you know? So you've been in the UFC for how long now? <sighs> man, I, it's sad. I, I can't even... I can't even give you a year. I started with the WEC, but at the time, the WEC, uh, in my weight class, the 145 was still owned by Zufa, which owned U UFC. Oh. So it was pr still pretty much, it was the same thing. It was just the where the lighter weight classes started. Oh, so you were on the so, ground floor. Kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they, they merged them because they wanted to brand it as one Mm. Single thing, the UFC, because oh, for a long time, um, UFC didn't have featherweight division. They didn't have 145, 35, 25. So we were the WEC. And um, when they decided to merge them, that's when they merged them. And it, 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 nothing changed for us but the name. But, we, at, it was but at the time, the at the time when uh, did they know it was going to be as big as it was? Like when you were just doing it, were you just like that was as big as it is going to get? Did you even think it, that it, it would was, go to where it is now? It was. Uh, you mean the UFC? Yeah, or, just like yeah. just that that kind of like a, um, combat fighting as yeah. entertainment. I think so. I think so. Just because um, you know, I I remember when I started this when I started training in my brother's basement. So going back, I I started training um, with my brother when I was. 12, 13. Oh, wow. In my brother's basement. And this is when... No, so UFC, your brother's... How much older is your brother? He's eight years older than me. Oh, okay. So okay. he's so older he was brother. Like your big brother. Old, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. my big brother. And um, we we started in his basement, and it was one of those things. You know, I, I didn't do good in school. I mean... <laughs> what? If, you? Yeah, right, right. I was expecting that. <laughs> Wait, right? you didn't do good in school? Yeah, I don't like people <laughs> telling me what to do. You know, I wasn't I wasn't the best in school. So you, so. you have a problem with authority. Yeah, yeah. I have a problem with authority. And I was just about to say, anybody that knows me, <laughs> probably pick up on that. Um, but uh, but no, I uh, I did Taekwondo from four, four to about 11, 12. And then I had like a year where, you know, I was that awkward 
that awkward stage. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. But once I started training with my brother in the basement, I, I found out this is this is what I liked. Because I did Taekwondo for so long. Right. I've been in combat sports, you know, um, but I, I trained the first week I did it. I was like, man, I want to do this. And it was one of those things I, I told my I told my parents, I, I think I'm done with school. I'm just going to be a fighter. Oh, were you in high school? Yeah. yeah, oh, you're, yeah. So you, Wait, and I, and and what did your parents say? No, nah, they didn't like that. <laughs> Of course, they didn't what like pa- that. What no. pa- I was gonna call child services retroactively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if they had, yeah, they, they were okay with that. They didn't like that. They didn't like that. But you know, it was um, it was one of those things that I, I just pursued. I pursued. Um, thankfully, it worked out for me. But um, going going back to it, the UFC being as big as it, I I definitely saw it. Um, when I first started training, it was funny because they, they just had the anniversary um, clip on on UFC's Instagram. But it was uh, the Forrest Grip. I don't know if you've ever seen the fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you're not I'm big not, on I'm just yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. big on this. It's just so violent. But, but you know? anybody that watches UFC, the first Forrest Griffin, uh, Stefan Bonner fight, which was like – it was one of the first televised, like, getting it out there. Oh, really? And it so happened to be one of the – best fights like it was a slug fest they so, just went so it was a it. perfect storm it, yeah yeah it and were the it, rules the same the rules were pretty much the okay, same. okay yeah they're pretty much the same but even dana says like that that catapulted it like without that fight going down the way it did it wouldn't be as big as it is now oh wow and i kind of agree with it it was kind of a perfect storm but um i i knew you know i knew with how popular it was it was it was gaining notoriety because boxing took a while. Boxing's been around for yeah, yeah, yeah. forever. What's well, it's, for, it's going dips it up ups and, and it goes ups yeah. and downs. But it's MMA, a, I think it's on a down right now. It, it is in terms it of like is. national popularity, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But MMA is just yeah, you know, skyrocketing up. So um, it, it it's it. I would still say it's kind of in its niche era right now. Right. It's niche era, but um. I think it's it's getting you know with your Conor McGregor's and stuff like right. that. It's definitely on the uprise. You said that with a little bit of like Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor. Yeah, I mean, here's here's the thing. I don't hate <laughs> I don't hate on the man. The man, he's if you look at it, he can act. He can act. He puts on a good show. And I don't do I think Conor McGregor's an asshole outside of he does some things he shouldn't have done. You know, with right. the whole Dolly incident and you know some stuff going on now. But honestly, I got nothing against him. I th- I think he's a he's a martial artist through and through. I just think he he found an opportunity to sell himself and make a bunch of money. You know? Now, do you think that? What do you feel about that being being a part of it? What's the line for you? Like where it's like this is entertainment, but it's also professional fighting. Right. What? What? How does that mix so, for you? So so this is the the way I, you know I come from traditional martial arts, so I can be a hothead. But when when I go in there and compete, like it's it's all respect. Um, you know, this is all this is all you know. I I come from you know those taekwondo days. I'm not I'm not about talking trash and you know if somebody if it, I've always looked at it if somebody's gonna say something I'm definitely gonna defend myself. But I'm not gonna go out of my way to to kind of you know rough some feathers and talk right. shit. And I feel like what in the sport right now we're in it, we're in a weird kind of area where Conor McGregor did it so well. Now you're getting all these people trying to copycat, mm-hmm. and they're not as good as him. Right. Like, cause he's a good actor. He's a good showman. He can put it on. Now you got is these he a guys. Better, is he a better showman than he is a fighter? I think so. Oh wow! I think so. I I think he's a great fighter, but it, it, top of the food chain, I think there are definitely people that are. Oh, I see the what you're saying. Dog. There's probably more skilled, stronger, right, right, faster, but, better fight. Got but, you. Got yeah, you. but I, I'm not saying he's he's good. Yeah, we're he's no, really no, no, good, no. You know, but um, I, I I definitely think he played it. He played it the right way. He played the bad guy, and that that's the thing with pay per views, man. When you start making pay per view money, it doesn't matter if they love or hate you. If right. they hate you and they want to see you lose, and they buy the pay per view, you're giving them money. You know, so like it, he played it good, but now you're getting people like Colby Covington who just cringe. It makes you cringe. Like oh. whenever they talk crap, you're just oh, like, like like the old school W. I mean, remember, remember uh, Ricky the Dragon. You know, in I don't WWF. Remember. No, is that how how long ago? Was oh, that? that's true. I'm so I, much well, I do like Ultimate Warrior and Macho it, Man. It was before I, that. Okay, but yeah, the one thing about Ricky the Dragon is he wasn't a good actor. 
So yeah. like you didn't believe it. like Macho Man Savage was great, you know. Yeah. Like all yeah. the, there were guys that were like Ultimate Warrior was mm-hmm. great. There's guys mm-hmm. like you know Jake the Snake and all these guys. They had this persona. Yeah. And that it was important, and if you didn't have that, no matter how athletic or strong you were, it just didn't come. It across. didn't come through. Well, and that's that's what I feel. You know, that's what I feel with this like this guy Colby Covington who he's trying to play that. And it just doesn't. It's just cringy, and you're like, "Ooh, he shouldn't have done that," you know. So, like, I don't want the sport to become what WWE is. I don't want it to all be entertainment. Like, people are like, "Oh, this is a grudge match." I want it. Like, I think if our sport is gonna last for the long haul, I think we need we need to make it a sport, not a spectacle. Uh, Does that make sense? Yeah, no, Does no, that no make it, sense? Ma- it makes perfect yeah, sense. Yeah, and I think you know, I think the fast yeah. money. I yeah, the money's definitely in you know you talking shit and you sell a fight. You can definitely make money from uh, from that. But how long is that gonna last? How long are people gonna buy into that shit? You know. Well, I mean, I guess it's just so. It then, all depends, but well, so then, what do you think? Well, McGregor's he's been the one, and, and mm-hmm. um, what's her face, uh, Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey. Yeah, yeah. You know, the, I mean, you know, she helped propel the sport, even if she wasn't even that great at the mm-hmm. sport, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. At the time, you know. What right, I mean? right, right, right. I mean, do you think that? Do you think when someone rises the, 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 as fast as she did in popularity, mm-hmm. but then ne- wasn't necessarily able to follow through in the ring, mm-hmm. did, did that hurt or help the sport? Uh, I think I think both. I think Ronda definitely helped the female female MMA scene because a female MMA scene, even even uh, Dana was like, man, there'd never be, there's never gonna be females in the UFC. But Ronda gave brought that charisma, yeah, yeah, that that energy, you know, yeah, it was very Tyson esque, so, yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. So I like, I, I I think I think stuff like that's good. I'm not, you know, I, I just think. For, for the long, if we're talking like MMA in the Olympics, which is already, that's a kind of hard thing to do. But like, if that's what we're trying to talk to, about our sport as kind of like the long, the long term, then I think we, it should be more invested about the actual skill behind the sport. Not so much the antics that go into, you know, Conor I mean, McGregor. It is entertainment. I mean, it is, the, it is. The, and, but that's where do you, like, do you struggle with that. You have a hard problem. I feel like I, you have a problem with that. I, I don't, I, I really don't have a problem with it. I just feel like it's, I don't want too much of either. If that makes any sense. It's, it's a very weird because I can see, I can see someone, you know, I can get not really an argument, but I could say, well, I want the purity of the sport. I think it should be based off this. And then I could have some people tell me, well, they're, you're getting more viewers because you got these people that are selling it. And I can't sit here and say that they're wrong. You right, know, it's, right, it, right. it's kind of, that's why I really don't think there's a right or wrong. I just think, I think for the legitimacy of the sport, I think we got to go about it maybe a little bit of different of a different way, but I could also be completely wrong and we could keep selling fights. And as long as people keep buying it. So then, you what, know, so then what do you think that the, um, the, the, the Mayweather McGregor fight, was that good or bad for MMA? Good, good for boxing, bad for boxing. Man, how did you feel about that? Man, that and that's that's a that's an iffy one too. Um, I think it was. I mean, obviously a big payday for for uh, for both of them. I think it was a bigger win for MMA because mm-hmm. you know uh, most people. You know, you got your 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 high level boxers, and a lot of those high level boxers thought. Connor didn't stand a chance. Right. He, it was a fight. You know, it wasn't. He got beat. Everybody, I thought he was going to get beat. I didn't think he was going to yeah. win. But, but do, do you do, do what do you say to people that say that uh, Holyfield was putting on, not Holyfield, what's his name? Um, Mayweather. 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 Mayweather was putting on a show. Putting on a show. And yeah. they, I mean, and he knew that he knew that when the time came that he I, could beat him, beat him at any you time. You know, I said, I said, uh, I said, because Mayweather said he was going to finish him. Um, just going in, like analyzing the fight. He he was actually doing what I said he was doing before. Like he he told the crowd afterwards, he was he was implementing more of a a Mexican style, you know, a high guard walking forward. So I, it, people, a lot of people thought he wasn't boxing the same way because he was kind of carrying Connor. But I think it was just a strategic move. I think he knew he was smaller. Um, Connor's a counter fighter, just like Mayweather. Mayweather's a counter fighter mm-hmm. too. I think I think Mayweather knew to get him tired. He had to. Come forward. Yeah, but Come what about? Forward. But what about? Don't you think though that there was there's talk that because the Pacquiao fight was such a just a joke mm-hmm. that he 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 didn't want to have that happen again. Yeah, yeah. Well, and uh, 
I mean, I'm not trying to take away from M- M- McGregor. McGregor, right, but right. But like, this guy's a what? He's a world class boxer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Four, well, he was 49 and 0 at the time. Right, right. You know what I mean, so it's like you know he's at the top of his game. And yeah. How do those two fighting styles mesh? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's definitely Mayweather's world. Yeah. Like even even being a good striker in MMA, boxing is a completely different sport. Yeah. You can do things in boxing you can't do in MMA. And, and vice versa, right? And, right, right. And well, you even see see it in that fight. Even the fight, you like hit him on the top. When of the he's head. hitting him on top of the head, <laughs> yeah. and he's like, "Come on, dude!" He's like, you know, because we're used to clinch. Yeah. If they if they do that, we can either get a choke. We'll take your back. Now, see, I know? What, what I remember from that fight, seeing that moment, I mm-hmm. thought, "Oh, McGregor could kill him if he wanted to." Yeah. Oh, like if it, it was like a no holds bar fight, and they went out in yeah. a cage. With yeah. Lift, I would take McGregor. No, no, no holds bar. <laughs> yeah, no holds barred. Mayweather yeah. would smash him within a round. It'd yeah. be it'd be game over. And that's I I like Mayweather. I like you Mayweather. Mean McGregor would. Yeah, McGregor would, would yeah. school like him. if they like if they got into an octagon. Oh God, like it, would, say, it, just, it would it would be yeah. it would be and, and, it would be a mismatch in the same way. Right, right. It really would. I, I think even worse. Yeah, I think because, so too. Because you know, there's there's so many variables in boxing. Like I said, I love boxing. There's a lot of science to it, but there's rules to it. MMA, there's so many variables. There's so many ways to win, so many ways to lose. Yeah. So like, um, you know, that's you know that's the thing. We knew that you know even Connor knew he was at a disadvantage, but he made. He made a lot of money off that. Yeah. You know, he made a lot of money. And Connor loses. He says, Okay, I lost to the best boxer in boxing. Yeah, exactly. Great. What if and I made a hundred million he dollars? Won, what if he won and he beat arguably yeah, the yeah, best yeah. boxer? That would be ginormous. Then for the then MMA. McGregor becomes just a yeah, he's just a, a tyrant. Like yeah, nobody, yeah. <laughs> nobody's right. touching him, you know? Nobody's he, yeah, touching him. He's driving cars into uh, fucking buses. <laughs> Getting away with yeah, it. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. So, okay, so let's go back. So, you know, you, you tell your parents you don't like school, you're mm-hmm. in high school, but they're like, no, motherfucker, you're graduating high school. Yeah. So you graduate high school, but throughout high school, you're fighting. Did you wrestle? Did you do, well, like, high school wrestling? Because where are you just, from? Where are you just, from Cedar Rapids? Where are you from? Cedar Rapids, Cedar Rapids. Oh, let's God. just back this the up. butthole of America. I huh? never graduated. <laughs> oh, so you didn't even graduate? I never graduated high school. Oh, that explains so, so much. <laughs> I guess Griffin needs some comedy in his podcast, right? So. It's the comedy podcast. <laughs> yeah, right, you know what right. I mean? that, you, you set me up. The, really, yeah, it was getting too serious. We yeah. Had to, yeah, okay. Thank you for bringing it back to okay. the... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I... Uh, yeah, I actually... You know, because I got I got into a riff with my parents too, and they didn't let me live at their house. I actually... I stopped going to school. They found out. They kicked me out of the house. I lived on the street for about... Oh, two wow. months. Yeah, yeah. And it, oh, you got a good the, fighter story, dude, uh, right? <laughs> and uh, actually, funny because when I was supposed to fight Jose Aldo for the for the title, UFC came to my hometown and they did like you know you know how boxing does like the twenty four sevens, like the yeah, whole documentary yeah, 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 yeah. style, like really clean. They got all this footage, and then um, when I when I had to or when the fight got canceled because I we both got hurt. Even one of the camera guys goes, God, that's a shame. That's not going to go out there because that yeah. was like one of the coolest. Because I showed him, I showed him, you know, that I remember there was one night me and my friend um, at the time, we were, we were both, both homeless, dropped out of high school. Yeah, I had a buddy that did it with me too. Oh, man. Um, you're just a bad influence. A bad huh? influence. Whose idea I was guess, it? A good, I'm sure it was your idea. It was more idea. Let's leave yeah, my yeah, yeah. It was more, I don't need this, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Geometry. But, what? <laughs> we, were, we were actually speaking of the wrestling room. We had a way to sneak in the wrestling room. Wrestling room was always super, and it, it was cold this time of year. It was mm-hmm. in Iowa. It's winter, right? So we'd sneak into the wrestling room and sleep under the mats because it was wow. super hot. Yeah, man, look at you. Yeah, man. Yeah. So like, it's one of those things. I don't want to go to teach or tell kids or be a what? What do you call them? Inspirational. You'd be speaker, a mentor, yeah, be a mentor because right. I can't go to the school. Quit be school. like, quit yeah. school, do what you want to do. Yeah, right. Fuck everybody. No, <laughs> no. Any, yeah. any regrets yeah, about yeah. not finishing high school? Uh, I mean, yeah. I there there always will be, but I'll I'll tell you this. Like, just I, I'm very blessed. I'm very lucky that it went the way it did, and mm-hmm. I, I think I think there's something to take from all of it. There are definitely things you know. I wish I would have finished high school. There's things I didn't get to experience that I still think about to this day like but th- or shit like yeah that. just stupid yeah. you know stuff like and i'm seeing it now i'm seeing my niece and stuff do stuff like right, that and i'm right. just like wow that's crazy perspective but yeah but um but at the same time you know you hear that you hear a lot of successful people they say don't let anyone be your boss be your own boss mm-hmm. and and d- if you want to do it you'll do it it's not it, it may be harder for you than it is for someone else. But if you really want to do something, you'll do it. And I, I think about all the stuff I went through. And it was never a question in my mind. I, I was like, nah, I'm going to make this work. This is what I want to do. I'm going right, to make it work. And right. it, 
and it worked. So I think there's something to take from that, but at the same time, I don't want to advocate drop out of high school. (laughs) Yeah. Drop out of high school. Yeah. Because you're you're, you're still a baby. You're still a baby. You know, you don't have all the answers. You know, my dad used to say that, oh, you're 16 and you got it all figured out. That was his favorite thing to say. Yeah. I think every, that's, that's, that's the go-to. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. You got it all figured out. (laughs) Okay. So you're 16. You're living, you're, you're, you drop out of high school. You're living in the, 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 the wrestling room. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then, and so then what what what's next after that? Like, man, when, when did I, it start to happen? Like, what did you decide to do? So so luckily, you know, my best friend to this day, Wes Gast, um, he, he wrestled in high school. He was a couple years older than me in high school. But, um, he you know, he was uh, working, going to college at the time. And he had a house and he actually like rent free. Let me stay at his house. Oh, you know, real God. cool, dude. Let wow. me stay. And like without him doing that, I, I, I try to think of. How would I eat? Yeah, where would How you would be I, here? To, like, would I, I wouldn't today? even be, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So I had a I had a really, really good support system. The homies I did have were that still ride or die homies. I actually, uh, my buddy Wes I was just talking about, we went and saw that uh, Captain Marvel last night. Oh, That's right, what right. we went together. But uh, but no, like, it, I had a really good support system. And my, you know, my mom was, my mom's always been the disciplinarian. Mm. My dad was like the... I need to make sure everything's okay, you yeah, know? he was a provider. And yeah, yeah. And when I got kicked out, my dad would <laughs> – it was funny because my dad would – Who kicked you out? Did mom kick you out? Mom kicked me out. She was like, you, and you, then, you, you can't stay here yeah, yeah. if you're not going to graduate. And then, and then my dad was actually helping me out. Oh, wow. But keeping it from her. Right, And she right, found right. out, and they – She kicked him out? They got into it. Yeah, almost. <laughs> you both were living in and the gym? And then I snapped on on her, you right. know. But, yeah, I mean, she's just being – she's doing she thought, what she a parent what should. She thought was best. Got to yeah. kick the bird out of the nest. They, yeah, you know, yeah. I – and so I completely understood. But, um, but yeah, so I was I was just living with my buddy, uh, Charity Case, you know, being a charity case. And, you know, he was uh, – he was uh, providing food and all that stuff. And then I just, um, while I was training, I took my first fight when I was 16. Oh, wow. And I was, I, at the time, MMA wasn't as big, so it wasn't regulated like it was now. Uh-huh. So it was it was, it was was a pro rule fight, but you're, only, you're supposed to be 18 or older. Right, don't so you lie. lied. So I lied about it. And I did it, and I took it two weeks notice, completely supposed to get my ass whipped. I, I'm fighting a militage guy, and I know you don't know, but um, a lot of people in the fight community, militage at that time, they had like all the world champs in UFC. Oh, this is like a fight rich, camp. Yeah, like Rich Franklin, Matt okay. Hughes, a bunch okay. of like, you know. And in his corner, he's got like Pat Militage, Robbie Lawler, Jens Pulver, a bunch of UFC veterans. So this is like a tune-up fight yeah, for the this, other guy. This is for This him. is just like Rocky. This is, yeah, this is for him to win. <laughs> I'm like, and even even my coach, Dave, at the time, he brought me in. He's like, I'm not, I'm going to be honest with you. You're probably going to get your ass beat. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. He's like, you're going to lose this fight. And but I'm it's like, be a stepping stone. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, well, fuck that. I'm like, you just threw me. On. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing that. Like, I'm gonna go out and win. So I went out and I dominated the fight. I ended up winning it in the third round with the with the choke. And after that, the feeling I got from it, and kind of like having everybody say, "Oh God, this guy's so tough," and then whooping his ass, I was kind of like, ah, I think I got something here. I think there's. Oh, so you beat him? Oh yeah, I whipped his ass. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like it was one sided, and it. I, I even surprised myself. Like, I didn't go in there to get my ass beat, but I yeah. expected me to have a lot of – I've never fought before. Oh, like, wow. in a cage. You've practiced. So, yeah, i that, practiced, yeah. but I haven't fought. So once I got in there and it clicked and I did everything the, the way I should have and it, I had a good performance, I'm like, ah, I think I got something here. And then after that, it was, you know, gung-ho. That, yeah, like, that's yeah. – it was an obsession. And um, and that, that took me for a while through local circuit. And then um, I ended up meeting um, – uh, Duke Rufus, who uh, still my coach now, you know, I was with him in Milwaukee, lived right. there for 10 years. Um, the butthole of America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. you like all the buttholes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I love yeah, Milwaukee's yeah, a great city. Yeah. Let me not get into a feud with Milwaukee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Milwaukee tacos, baby. Fuck LA tacos. No, Mo- okay. <laughs> no, no, we're going. This guy thinks. Milwaukee has uh, better tacos than LA. I'm telling you guys. I'm oh telling you God. guys. I'm not saying better, but I'm telling you, our friend Craig Efros took me to a taco shop here, and I wasn't that impressed. But yeah, well, you can't you can't have some nerdy and white then, guy take you to a taco these, place. You hear about this measles? 
Measles? What about There's like measles, measles at, a, at a taco shop? Okay, like? okay, so one taco shop. I bet you the food was good, though. It's probably, it's probably <laughs> worth the measles. That's, worth when, the me- that's when yeah. you know you had a that's good That's when spot. you know it's a good taco. <laughs> I, I'll give you All that. right, so you live I in know. Milwaukee for so, 10 years. So, so well, how I, how I met him. Um, I actually, uh, I went up, I went up to Rufus Sport, went up to Milwaukee. We had a couple uh, buddies from my gym back home in Cedar Rapids that cross trained up there with him, and uh, they said just one day randomly they said, right. they said, um, come up, you should come up and train with us. So I went up there and trained, and you know I went up there that one day. I met Anthony Pettis, and that was right before his WEC debut, right before mm-hmm. he's about to make. He's fought a while, but like his first high notch up fight and I trained with him and then you know Duke pulled me to the side and he's like hey where are you fighting and I was like locally <laughs> you yeah, know like yeah. and he, and he's like where do you want to fight and like I told you WEC at the time for me in my weight class was the highest league like it was the UFC was WEC right so I, I was like well WEC obviously and he's like oh okay okay so I go back home to Iowa Next day, he calls me, and I was kind of like, what? I pick it up, and he's like, all right, son, I got you a five-fight contract with WEC. And I was just like... And how old were you at the time? I was 19. Okay, so you've been... So from that 16-year-old fight, how many fights did you have before you got to that point, eight. though? Okay, eight. So, okay, so eight. you fought eight times. Yeah, eight times. Eight. I was what was your no. record in that eight? Eight, no. Oh, wow, eight, eight no. no. Yep, and, uh, and he, he gave me the call, and he said that, and like... I was like, holy shit, because right, that was like deal. me. That was me fighting local circuit. That's pretty much getting the call that you're in the UFC. Oh, so wow. I'm like, oh shit, I lost it. And that, I mean, that was you know, I fought a couple more at home, and then I ended up making the move to uh, to Milwaukee and Rufus Sport, and then I stayed there for ten years. And I mean, that's led me to now. Right. I mean, I've been fighting for the company for that so long. So you're how old are you now? I'm thirty. Just so turned thirty in October. You just oh, well, yeah, happy birthday to you, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, so thirty. But so you're feeling you're feeling like the end is near. I don't. Uh, is, it, is it that? I'm just saying. I don't know. What, yeah, what's yeah, the, yeah. What's well, the, the shelf life? Well, for, the, the fight game is so weird because because you could yeah because there's guys that are fighting that are forty right. or whatever. Or you could have a fight where you get fucked up really bad. Oh, gotcha. Some bad shit happens, and then you start rethinking. All right, is this worth it? Um, you know, I've had a lot of injury, not a lot of brain injuries, but I've had a lot of like knee physical injuries, physical injuries, the physical things, injuries yeah. stuff like that. Um, other than that, like I feel good. My head feels good. Good, good. As long as that. Well, it's not full of high school knowledge, so. That, that's true. I, I, I didn't have much to start with, right? So maybe I'm at an advantage, right? Maybe I'm at yeah. an advantage. Jesus. But, uh, but, uh, um, but uh, no, I, I, I feel good now. It's one of those things, you know, I always said I wanted to end about 35. Oh. If I have a good career, maybe, maybe late, like 38, I think that'll be, that'll be it. If it, God willing, there's no injury because you've been you've had a couple of injuries. oh I've had inju- I've had a lot of injuries you've had to I've cancel had a, fights because yeah injuries, I've yeah. had a lot of injuries but I mean luckily like you know double edged sword I've got injured a lot but I haven't had like that career ending uh, torn completely right, right, torn right, right. MCL right or, right yeah or the Achilles L- 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 or something yeah like yeah that. so yeah, yeah, that yeah. that completely changed a fighter so I, I'm blessed in that way so I mean. Getting on top of that, I think a lot of it was due to, you know, I like weight training. I think I was overdoing my strength and weight training. Mm. So I've been doing more like gymnastics, stuff like that. More right. body weight and more stabilization than anything else. And just be healthier year round. Oh, okay, so you're training with them, but is it like official training? Were you training in other places? Like I'm saying, did you have like a Taekwondo master? Did you have like a... Oh, no. You know so, what I mean? So, I mean... A MM- jiu-jitsu master? Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, well, how did you... Well, and that's what are you the, an expert in? Well, like, you know, that was the thing. When when I got into the sport, it was still kind of... It was MMA. It was mixed martial arts. Right. People were starting to mix. But it was still... You would still run into a lot of people with styles. Right? Like, okay, this guy's a wrestler. Oh, this guy's a jiu-jitsu guy. Right? Right. I've gone through that unique period where... I was a part of it when it was those days, and now it's everybody's just good at everything. You know Got that you. that kind of, and which it, helps because somebody might be having emphasis on a particular type of fighting right, style, right, 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 and they right. bring that in to yeah, yeah. Like throw well, people for a loop. And you know that's the biggest. Thing. I mean, I I got 
you know, Daniel Wanderlei, who is uh, the the instructor at, at Rufus Sport, who's a third degree black belt. He's a beast. That's my jujitsu guy. Uh, my my striking coach, obviously Duke Rufus, who's a four time world champ. And I mean, kickboxing knowledge. The guy's an encyclopedia. It's it's crazy. Even and it's funny too, because like the man truly cares. Because now that I live in Iowa, you know, um, running the gym with my brother, he sends me fight videos every oh, single wow. day. So he's still like. Mm -hmm. making sure I'm on my stuff, but, um, I got him and then, you know, a lot of it, man, like there's so many different elements in this sport. The best thing I, I think where you're seeing people excel now is not really training one thing mm. as, as not like saying, I'm going to take this day and just do jujitsu. The way I feel about it more now is you've got to train the whole sport as a whole. You've got to be ready for the transitions between standing ground all that stuff because that's where everybody's getting good everywhere now now it's who's better at making the transition a good example was uh gsp and i know you've heard of his name yeah, yeah, you probably yeah. haven't you know i, could, I, I, I think you were at a fight up. i think you were at a fight we i think uh with bobby we watched when he fought bisbing he knocked bisbing out but um he's a good example of he he beats everybody he takes everybody down that he fights right. but he fights people that he fights wrestlers that if he wrestled them in a wrestling match, he'd get schooled. But when he wrestles them in fighting, he beats them because his understanding of everything, the uh, entire gotcha. game is better. It's huh. superior. So I think, I think, I think that's where the sport's going. And that's kind of where my mentality is going. I, you know, I don't, I don't like to train. I don't like to spar without takedowns because I'm not doing that. I'm not doing a kickboxing fight. There's right. always the possibility of takedowns. Right, right, so I right. always want to have that in my mind. Well, so that means I guess that, that, that sounds to me like the coaching is super important. Oh, super important. Yeah, that means. But and 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 you know, even even Duke will tell you, Duke's not a wrestler, but he he kicks he kickbox forever. He's done traditional martial arts, but he'll tell you hit the system he's developed is more geared towards MMA now than it is kickboxing. Mm. And he's he's more of a kickboxer, right? You know? So um, there's definitely you know little subtleties, little differences, but that's what's awesome about MMA because boxing you see a lot of guys with undefeated records. Right, right, right. Because yeah. I get it. Well, and they do a good job pumping people up, but you only got two hands. Yeah. Doesn't matter how good you are in MMA. You're gonna have a loss. You're gonna have a loss. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. just it's gonna happen, yeah, yeah, dude. Because yeah. there's it's it, there's so many crazy. But that's the distinction between the two. You know, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. when you when you were coming up, like, did you ever have like those friends who were not fighters and? You know, you're out someplace and somebody's like, my boy. Yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, <laughs> my dude. boys. Yeah. 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 Yep. You'll get them. You'll, yep. You'll get them. I once had a guy too, going on the other end, you get the, the insecure, the insecure meathead male that right. like, here's you're a fighter and they try to call you out. So there is a funny story. This was around. Get you in there. Yeah. Yeah. This was around <laughs> maybe, I, I think it was 18, 19, but I was at a buddy's house at a house party and, um, training like two days before i like ripped a bunch of tendons in my arm my left elbow and right. i literally had a sling on right so we go to this party and um we, we're playing some beer pong or something and some guy some guy looks at me and he's kind of you know sizing me up and i'm like what's up man I'm like can he can i help you he's like hey I, I heard you're a fighter i'm like yeah he goes you want a box oh. i look down i got a <laughs> sling on I look down and I'm like, well, that's fair then. I go, you know what? Yeah. I'm like, go get me one boxing glove. I'll beat you with one hand. And then he looked at me like, he's like, I was kidding. I'm like, no, you weren't, bitch. You were trying to punt me out. And, and you're here a guy we go. And the rage, the, yeah, rage the, the rage started doing Sue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah dude, dude, dude you, I mean, being a, like being a fighter, you do get, you know, you do have the buddies that when they get drunk, oh, you know who this guy is? And I'm like, don't Man, do that. I, I don't do that. Like, I can't just be like getting in bar bar yeah, fights just, yeah. and then you'll Dana's like, oh, I completely back what he's doing. You know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. I get in trouble for shit like that. Well, at least know? with the law, you, you, if you're a lethal weapon. Well, well, and and if I'm at a drinking establishment, yeah. it's hard to say, oh, who was in the right? If you're both been drinking. It doesn't look good for me either it way. Sure if I get in a fight, you yeah. know, if if something happens on the well, street, it's like, dude, it's like drinking and driving. You can't, you, yeah, you, right? You can't drink and fight. Yeah, right, right, <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, it, I mean, it just it's it's hard because because people say, you know, oh, your hands are are registered. It, it's not really that. It's I can defend myself. 
I can't go not not as me getting in trouble. Um, no, if you with the law, I'm saying if you're in a fight with someone, yeah, and you physically injure that person or kill them, mm-hmm. even in self defense. Oh yeah, yeah, you're gonna have a trouble defending yourself in court because no, they're doing like, what I do. Yeah, doing what you do. That's right. all I'm saying. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. have to. I'm just saying you have to be careful who you get in all. Oh, for for sure, for sure. Well, right? and on top of it too, like. You know, like I said, I still I having a contract with the UFC. They don't they they, they ain't cool with you just getting yeah, yeah, drunk yeah, yeah, and yeah. fighting people because like that surf, makes their that makes can't, the whole bra- bar fights. it makes the brand look bad. Yeah, yeah you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like we're supposed to be martial artists, yeah. right? Martial artists, so we gotta present ourselves that way. And so like that's the one thing. If I go out and I got a buddy doing that, I'm just like, man, I'm tell I'll tell you right now, you get in a fight, I can't really help you. Like I'm not yeah, <laughs> you're referee. I, yeah, you know? <laughs> it's I'm not just you can't not just bringing me out to show muscle. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. I hate that. I hate that. But the luckily, you know, that the older I get, the less I'm in the bar scene, and my friends now are older. So I, I really don't have to deal with it as much anymore. But so where do you see, where do you see yourself? So you're 30 now. 30 so now. So what what do you want to uh, uh, accomplish if for your 35 I, your 35 to 38 goals? Let's right, say right. Like 37. What 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 do you want to say about yourself? Well, I I feel like I feel like the biggest thing in in my MMA career, I've I've learned a lot of lessons just by doing things wrong. <laughs> like you know, like I, out of high because school. I know, yeah, <laughs> right, yeah. I want to go back to my GED, no, no. But uh, I, you know, I've it's been trial and error, kind of, and even I think weight weight uh, cutting has been been a big issue for me. Mm. You know, I started when I started fighting, I was starching everybody. I was a smaller guy. Yeah. I fought at one fifty five. I wasn't nearly as big as I am now. Mm. Then I went down to I went down a whole weight class. When I got bigger, I got bigger, and I'm like, oh. All these guys are cutting a lot of weight. Oh. I need to cut a lot of weight too. So, I think you know my 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 biggest thing is just staying positive. I know how good I am. I know the people I train with. I know they know how good I am. Mm-hmm. I know I can fuck some shit up. I I started this to to be a to be a world champ, and that's where I want to end it. I mean, if if you're a fighter and you don't want to be a champ, you shouldn't be doing it. Right. You right, know what right. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. this is a dangerous game. Yeah. If, if you're doing this, oh, it, man, and it's not even as lucrative as, as you it's, want it to it's be. It's not. It's not. <laughs> but like, it's only it, for like you know, it's not like and, the NBA where there's and, like a minimum salary. And you know, that's another thing with MMA. Even you know, when when I was younger, fighters made even less money. To me, this wasn't about money. Like, yeah, money's a necessity. We need money, but it's money's not what I want. When I'm dead, I can uh, people can go back and say, hey. This guy did this, you know. That's why a lot of a lot of sports people do, yeah, you know. Yeah, a lot yeah. of those legends, Michael Jordan will live forever. Not necessarily all the money he's made, but Michael Jordan will always be one of the goats, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that anybody in sports that should kind of be the end goal, you Definitely. know. So, so you so you still have some work to do. You I got like, work. Yeah. Oh, oh, I got a lot of work to do. I got a lot of work to do. But like I said, just reinventing myself. The older I get, training smarter. I'm I'm doing a lot of things differently that I thought I would never do. To, like I I like I told you about gymnastics. Yeah. Starting to do more You're gymnastics. Doing gymnastics. Gymnastics. <laughs> Trying to do more gymnastics because Are you hitting it like <laughs> yeah 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 doing flips and handstands. No, just like being healthier on my joints. Training smarter the older I get. Uh-huh. Also, uh, me and my brother running a gym. What's um, the name of the gym? Hard Drive. Hard Drive. Hard Drive, Hard Drive Cedar Performance Rapids. Center. Yep. In Cedar Hard Rapids, Drive. Iowa. Wow. So and if you're out there, you're corn fed and you. Corn fed, man. Yeah. <laughs> and you want to get your fight on? <laughs> Go on there. But uh, no, we're also affiliate of, of my coach, Duke Rufus. Oh, we're okay, affiliate okay. school there, too. From, from Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Yep. Yeah, okay. That's Rufus Sport. How, they're and not that far away, though, right? New Milwaukee. That is three, three and a half hours. Okay. Gotcha, yeah, gotcha, yeah, gotcha, yeah. Gotcha. Not far. Actually, my brother, my brother and uh, Spud, our uh, business partner, are up there right now. They just drove Sweet. up there right now. Got a business meeting with those guys, but um, but yeah, the, r- running that. So I'm still training three times a day, but I'm also teaching three, four classes a day. Wow. And what I'm what I'm starting to realize is the older I get, just going over the fundamentals, like any sport, fundamentals are the most important thing. I go over the same fundamentals over and over and over, and they actually make my game so much tighter. Just reinforcing now do you see a young coke out there when you're t- when you're with these kids do you see somebody you're like oh that kid's gonna i yeah oh yeah so oh, you, do you see sure. yourself transition sure. so you see yourself transitioning I, into coaching into a coach i love yes. coaching yeah i yeah. love coaching and it you know it's that's another thing like in a, in a competitive way it's hard to take in a c- competitive edge away from a someone who's competed their entire life right i think that's the next i want to you know, I want to help others reach those goals, kind of like I did. You know, right. but um, 
but saying even that, you know, 30, people say 30 is prime. I've been doing, I know I've been doing this for a long time, but I still got that, that spark, yeah. you know, I want to, I want to coach, I want to help out, but I still got, you know, I have my own goals that my window is closing. So I want to make sure that, you know, I put in as much work as I possibly can. Well, that's Before great, I'm man. Done. I'm, yeah. uh, I like to hear that. Um, you know, I, I know you had to like bow out of the last fight for an injury. So, mm-hmm. do you, so when when's the next fight? Is that a re? Are you gonna be able to fight that same person? The, or do you have honestly, I don't know. It's it's at a good spot where it could. I I mean, he's just coming off a win. Um, but I oh, mean, the guy you were gonna fight. The guy I was gonna fight. Um, but I mean, with with the division right now, I'm, I I try to think of people who like realistically they would match me up with and. I'm not sure. I mean, he's one of them. Um, there might be another five, six. Eight. I mean, it's such a deep division, but it's just one of those things. I, that, w- my biggest frustration in my MMA career, like I said, going back to weight cutting, is right. I've always had to take a lot of time before a fight just to get my body to where it needed to be. Mm. Now that I'm fighting one seven, even 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 here right now, I'm I'm walking around about one eighty three, one eighty four. I could cut to one seventy in a week. So I want to Donald Cerrone this shit, which anybody that knows Donald Cerrone, I want to take, start just taking fights, start oh, knocking gotcha, them gotcha, off, gotcha. because that's what you know, getting your name out there. Fighting is a brutal business in that you win a fight and everybody's on you oh, for yeah. that weekend, right. and then after that, who are you fighting next? Yeah, who are you yeah. fight? You know what, what have you done it's, for me lately? Very, yeah, it's very short lived. So um, it's one of those things. I just want to get my name out there and keep it out. You know, keep it out there. I think that's the best way to. To, to go up the ladder, but um, seeing my um, my teammate Anthony Pettis have a lot of success against Wonder Boy in his last fight, going right. up seventy. Everybody thought he was going to be too small. He ended up knocking him out cold. Wow. Like that, and this is the stuff. Like I know, like I said, I know what I can do. I've trained with one seventy years. I'm not getting bullied around. I'm not getting muscled around. So you you feel like this is your target weight? I, this this is, is where I need to be. This okay. is, and I should honestly, I should have been here for a while. Um, now you fought at higher and lower. I fought all lower. All lower. So I fought okay. at 145, and then I fought 155. That mm-hmm. was the last weight class I was at. Now I'm moving up to 170. Got you, got you. Yeah, which makes a big, big difference, especially the older you get. I notice when the, when you're young, you can cut that weight. Your body can kind of recover. The older you Who get. Who you telling? <laughs> you, tell, you telling me right now? Because I'm fighting at 290. Can I fight? Woo! Can't get in that 295 weight boxes? class. What happened to the boxes? man? Life. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I, I say. <laughs> but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go yeah. back. Thanks for yeah. calling me out. Yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta go get back. about it. Get about it. Um, well, that's good, man. Listen, uh, you know, we got a. I got a show tonight too. You know, Coke's in town. Uh, we're gonna go uh, watch Avengers. Uh, maybe we'll even have talk him come that. back on, and we're gonna talk about it. Um, that would be cool. Yeah, do a little movie review. Do a little Vlog. movie, a little end game movie review at, at movie review at the end of this. So on top of this, we might be looking different, different clothes, and all that kind yeah. of stuff. But uh, you know, I did want to get you on. I wanted to talk about your your story, and um, and it's great. I, I like th- I like your passion about this. I feel mm-hmm. like you're, you know, I hope you achieve the thing that you want to achieve. But it I sounds would... to me like you're gonna still be content no matter what happens because you're always gonna be in the fight game. Always. Always in some form, it, yeah. In some you know? form, you know, it's a. I've I've been doing it for so, and like, like you said, poke, make more more uh, graduation jokes, or <laughs> you know, like what else am I gonna do, right? <laughs> well, but but you know, that's another thing. There's you know, Target. I, there's... You know, I told my mom because my mom, going back to that, my mom would always be like, "Well, what do you? You need a fallback. You need this." I'm like, yeah. I'm like, but at the same time. And it's crazy because I wouldn't think about it the way I do, like a uh, sixteen-year-old Eric, the way Ooh, I think about it now. I can imagine. Sixteen-year-old Eric's like, well, that means I got to make it work, then, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's that's crazy, but there's some realness no, in it yeah. because I, I feel like I did that when got, I took into comedy. Yeah, I was like, you got to take the. Plunge. I feel like if you have this like back this thing, you're, you're gonna then did, did, did it means you don't really believe in in what you're doing. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. So it's I don't know. It's kind of crazy, but um. But I'll always be involved in this, regardless of of what I'm doing. But um, teaching teaching something that I didn't think I would enjoy as much, and I uh, thankfully I've had you know a good teacher with Duke, and I have people tell me you know I remind remind them of Duke when mm. he teaches, wow. and I I can see it because well, like that's your the, influence. I mean, yeah, you, it yeah. is, it is. Since but you're, but since it's you're crazy six, because nineteen, right? And he's he's such a good teacher, so I I, I didn't think it think of it in that light i thought okay he he's gonna help me with my 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 fight career you know but now that i'm coaching i'm like dude like if i didn't have him as a coach 
I wouldn't be able to even do what I'm doing right now. teaching. Wow. The, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So he's reached me on so many other levels. I wasn't even conscious about, you know, so. Wow. Pretty man. cool. Yeah. That is cool. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you, uh, I'm glad you're in town. Glad you came on. Um, like I say, I do. I wish you the best. You know, it's like I can't. I don't like watching you fight. Yeah. You know, because it's like it's rough. You're, it's just I just don't like it's, seeing that. Yeah. It's like in the blood yeah. and all that. But yeah. I will. I will say this. I do want to come to a fight, and I want to like. I want to have him corner. I want to be in the corner. Wanna, yeah. <laughs> See, that's the thing. Like, if, ass, I get a fight. <laughs> as long as I got Keone and Duke, I would like to have. Because you can have three, right? I can have three. Oh yeah. So I can put you in there. Yeah. Because a lot of people like to have. You know. Yeah, I know. The, but like, I just think it'd be funny for people being like, "Is that Montez?" Yeah, dude, it would be awesome, dude. <laughs> well, and, workaholics fans would be like, "What is Montez doing in, in the corner?" Personally, two corners is perfect for me because, like, in a corner, how you got a minute in between rounds? Right. Am I really talking to three people? Yeah. Like, I, I'm, I'm focused on that guy. Yeah, 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 <laughs> you know, yeah. I got, I got one person give, give me two people giving me instruction. The third's just there for moral gotcha, support. Gotcha, you know what gotcha. I'm saying? So yeah, I don't yeah, know. We I, need I, to I make. Might, I might throw in the towel though. Be like that, nah, no. That, <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna start a second fight. It's gonna be me jumping the fence. After. <laughs> that, that's half you my need money. To wipe your right face. <laughs> wipe your face. <laughs> I, just, I just throw the towel in. <laughs> oh, you're not supposed to do that. Yeah. Oh man. That was oh, the, you were about to win. Yeah. Oh, my bad. But my the, bad. Uh, and hopefully it's gonna be. Wait, you do have a fight scheduled though. So, well, I, I I thought I was gonna have it now. I'm just waiting now. Okay, so okay, I okay. So, yeah, yeah so I stay don't tuned. Wanna, yeah, I don't wanna. I don't wanna put any dates out. Okay, there, gotcha, 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 gotcha. We're waiting. We're waiting. stay tuned, and, you, and, and we'll most likely in there. Vegas or someplace like yeah, that. Yeah, right? I'm. I tell them, I'll always fight in Vegas. Put me in I Vegas. Love right. fighting in Vegas. Yeah, and Craig. As if I'm thinking of Craig, right? Craig is like, you got to get a fight close to here. Get a fight close to here so we can come watch. I'm like, motherfucker. I know. Just like, get on the plane and go. Th- Be supportive. Like, just go, <laughs> motherfucker. Like, God, you think I'm thinking about you coming to my fight? I'm about to fight another fucking human being, dude. I could care less what you think. Oh, Shit. Man. I know, right? Yeah. Well, Okay. You know what? Um, we're going to end there for now because this might be the end of this podcast or next thing you know, boom, we got this movie review. You know what I mean? So we'll see, we're not, I'm not sure yet, but I did want to have my man on. He's in town in L.A. So, you know, when, when your friends come in town, they do some great things like this guy does. I got to have him on. So I really appreciate you coming on. And, yeah, buddy. Uh, Thanks, brother. You know, and, and good luck. You know, I want to see. I want I want to know, hey, my friend is a world champion. You know Yeah, I mean? hell yeah. And hopefully, hell yeah. This will, hopefully, hopefully it does go to the Olympics, like extreme that, sports. That, that, yeah, you know yeah, they got extreme yeah. scores. They got people jumping on fucking skateboards. Why yeah. can't people fight MMA for? Uh, uh, well, and I, you'd love to fight for America, and I right? Think, That'd be great. I think it. I think it could. What you just said right there. I think that's why it could happen because it's blowing up all over. Yeah, the place. it's like, everywhere, it's, right? Yeah, it's everywhere. Like every and and fighting's been around beginning of mankind. You know, like fighting, even wrestling. Wrestling's the oldest yeah, sport. Yeah. They're, wrestling's in the Olympics. You yeah. know, so I think it'll happen. But MMA's still super young. You know, it's not that's that old. That's true. I mean, you know, how can it, they, and how can they police it in the Olympics? I mean, somebody can actually, like, you know, somebody can get seriously hurt, and then they can't go on to the next round. What right. do do? It'll probably be teams. But they got that's, boxing, too, though. Yeah. And boxing's actually more dangerous than MMA. I, 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 well, I think the boxing's more dangerous to the person for long term. Yeah. But I'm, I'm talking about but with that you can still finish. Like, cause how, many, how many boxing matches are there in the Olympics? Like That's to to question. win gold, like how many fights yeah, do you have to I, fight? Because they're only like three round fights, right? Yeah, yeah, they are. Because yeah. it's ba- it's pretty much. Yeah, they want, yeah, they're not gonna go. It's not gonna yeah. be five 15 round fights right, right, in three yeah, weeks, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, th- no, that is true. That is true. But I guess but for it, MMA, like I'm saying, it'd probably be teams. It'd be like this team, and then like so you hit you one person can fight, and if that person gets injured, you still have somebody. But if all three get injured, well, and, that's when they're eliminated. Or and kind of like teams, like and like you. You're talking like United States. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, be yeah. Like, yeah. Do that and then have like weight class. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, yeah, yeah. Obviously, just obviously, have obviously. like a, like a wrestling meet. Would yeah, be. yeah, yeah. You yeah. get just got somebody for every weight class. But I mean, I could definitely see it happening. It's just, yeah, it's a young, it's a young sport. But I mean, if they got power walking in the fucking Olympics. oh, I know, I know. <laughs> they yeah, get, but that's low impact, every, you know. You know, but there's a lot of shit. No, no, nobody thinks that nose the could get crushed. In it's the, fucking crazy. Some yeah. of the shit. In the I Olympics. know, I know, I know. That curling one is the one that I don't understand. <laughs> People are like, you know, <laughs> I want to be the, I want to be the fucking duster guy. And I'm like, I got, come on, come on. You know what? The funniest part about that is like they're talking to each other. 
Yeah. Like you watching it and you hear somebody go, you got it, Craig. Yeah. You know, do the thing. <laughs> go, go, go. I'm like, what do it, the shuffle it, shuffle it, shuffle it. What are they doing, man? What are they doing? So, yeah, you're right. MMA yeah. can make it to the Olympics. Let's, yeah. let's put that as a hashtag, you know. MMA in the Olympics. But anyways, this is Eric Coke. This is uh, Riffin' with Griffin. Uh, thanks for listening, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Please smash that subscribe button. Share, like, uh, make some comments. I'm still trying to improve the podcast, and I appreciate all your feedback. And uh, thank you again. And we're out.